Most activities on the island are concentrated along the coastlines because of the topography and the planning ministry is continuing to promote sustainable use of those coastal resources. Team leader for the joint venture between Atkins Limited and Full Grow in France, John McHugh, says a strong international team from the UK, the US and France is capturing aerial surveys of the island to help identify coastal habitats around the country. He thinks it's the best opportunity for St. Lucia to mark out its position on sustainable development in the coastal region. For the first time in the southern half of St. Lucia, we're going to use this information to come with a very clear outcome which needs to provide the assistance for land use planning to better identify the health and the location of coastal habitats around St Lucia. From there, we'll be able to better provide some service on where appropriate land use, such as tourism or fisheries development, can or probably should be promoted. The Coastal Habitat Management Project fits directly into the Environmental Management Fund, which is managed by the Banana Industry Trust. Executive Officer Bertram Clark says funding has been provided and the information will assist the Ministry of Planning in doing more. The information coming out of that will assist the planning department in doing more, you know, definitive planning in terms of, let's say, tourism development and other issues relating to just plain planning because it's really a collection of information so that they can plan forward for whatever development that may come to St. Lucia in the future. The data collected will be organized in a computer program to facilitate easy access and use. Lavin Walker of the Coastal Zone Management Unit is targeting key players in coastal management to spread the message of sustainable development. In order to ensure that we develop in a way that is sustainable, we need information to guide us with our development. So as a result of that, it was necessary for us to undertake this um, project so that we can get baseline data on the health or the status of a lot of our existing resources and as a result of that when we are looking at how to move forward in those areas we can determine the impacts of certain type of developments on, on those resources or on these habitats. The international consultants are encouraging government to engage with them and with local stakeholders to arrive at new baseline information on coastal habitats. The 10-month project is halfway through and the consultants are looking to complete the ground truthing in April and carry out training with key players and submit the final maps and reports by September 2009. Clinton Reynolds, HDS News, Channel 4.